In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to create notifications in Android. Notifications are the things that you see when you swipe from the top on an Android screen. Notifications are very popular now because it's a way to pull the user into your app or remind the user about something about your app. But something new came out in Android Aria, which is notification channels. And this is really something that's nice for the end user because what you can do is you can group your notifications into channels and then the user can silence certain channels from your app without silencing all channels. The channel sets things like the notification's importance and also the color of light that will show when a notification fires. Now a user has final say on some of these settings. So you create the channel, you provide some defaults, and then the user can customize as he or she wishes. There are several different notification styles and these are the individual notifications that the user will see when swiping down. Some of the more common are media, which adds the play button, so the fast forward, skip, play, stop, so on and so forth, which is really handy if you don't want to open your entire app like a music player app, but you just want to deal with it on the notification screen. Then there's big text for multiple lines. Inbox, which is used frequently for email because it has a built-in reply. Messaging is good for one-on-one -on -one messaging. And then big picture is handy in a case like ours because we can have a thumbnail and then we can expand to see a bigger picture. In a quick demo though, we're just gonna take a look at a simple notification and one that arrives from a broadcast receiver. So let's jump right in. One thing that's a little bit tricky is to create a notification channel, we have to have a context object. Normally we'll have that in an activity because an activity extends from context, but not so in a broadcast receiver. In a broadcast receiver, it's passed in on the on receive function. So I'm working a little bit ahead here, but let me go ahead and make a private var context of type context, and we'll just initialize that to null. Now down in our onReceive function, we're going to say this.context equals context. So that will allow us to refer to this context a little bit later. Let's declare one more variable, let's say private var channel of type notification channel, and we'll start that one off as null as well. Down in our notify user, we're going to say if channel equals null, we'll go ahead and create the channel. Now let's assign something to our channel. So we'll say channel equals notification channel. We need to give it an ID, which is a string. So let's say event channel ID. And then we need to give it a name. So we'll say plant events. And then finally an importance, so notification manager. And you'll see importance default, high, low, max, min, none, unspecified. Be wise here, don't take an advertisement and call it highly important. Be prudent and be thankful of the user because remember the user can change things about your cha channel later. So we're going to go ahead and call this important default. Now after that we'll say channel that description and we'll give it some attributes here. We'll describe some attributes. So a channel for plant events and channel dot light color. I love this one. This is what decides what light flashes on your phone when you get the event. So we'll say color dot green. A good choice for a plant based uh, website, right? Or a plant based tool. Now let's say get system service. This one is a little bit tricky. This is going to register our notification channel with the notification manager. But to do that, we have to have a context object. Now, luckily, we'll, we're prepared for this because you remember a little while ago, we made this context variable here and we're assigning it in the onReceive function. So at this point, we do have a valid context and we simply pass to it what we want, which is the notification manager. And we have to use its types. So we say colon colon class dot Java and import the get system service. Now it doesn't want to take a nullable context, so we'll, we will assert this is not null. Naturally, we should do a null check first before doing that because that will give us a risk of a null exception if it is indeed null, but nonetheless, I'm comfortable that we will be okay. Let's save this into a variable uh, notification manager. And then after that, we can say notification manager dot create notification channel and pass in our channel. Once again, we have a null consideration here, so I will assert it's not null, but 
we should be a bit more cautious on that. One other thing I'm going to do is take this event channel ID and I'm going to turn it into a constant so I can use it elsewhere. So up towards the top, private val and then event channel ID, we'll use that as the name equals event channel ID in quotes and copy. I'm glad I came up here because I see it does not like us assigning null to notification channel. So I'm going to change this to a private late in it var. And there we go. And that compiles. And now I can come down to the place where I left off and I can go ahead and plug in that event channel ID variable. And now everything compiles. Looks pretty good. So the next thing we have to do is actually create the notification on this notify user. Now, ideally, we would take a look at the specimens that the user has call off to some service, find events that are occurring for those specimens and notify the user. Um, those are all things we've done before through different ways. We, so for, for the sake of time, I'll skip through that and I'll just show a notification, a simple notification. So we'll say notification compat dot builder. And once again, we need to pass this our context and make that not null. And then let's use that event channel ID, which remember that's the unique identifier that refers to our channel down below. Val M builder, save it into a variable. And now we'll say dot set small icon. So what's the icon that the user will see? I'll just pick a random drawable from our application. So R dot drawable dot IC launcher foreground. We could probably use something better like a custom notification icon using our color theme. But here again, those are things we've done before by making images and things like that. So I'll leave that part up to you. Now set content title. Watch your plants. And then dot set content text. Your red bud is blooming. Now just a few more lines to go. Let's build the notification with mbuilder.build, and we'll save that into val notification. And finally, the notification manager compat is what ties this all together and actually shows the notification. So val notification manager compat equals notification manager compat dot from, and we have to provide our context object again and null assert that. Let's go ahead and import notification manager compat. And then notification manager compat. And finally, dot notify. And what does notify take? Uh, first, an ID, which is an int. We'll just give it a one. And then finally, the notification that we want to show. So notification. I'm going to make one more change. You see here I have channel equals null on the create channel. I'm going to change that to a Boolean just because I've now made that a late init. And so it shouldn't really be null. It doesn't really act well for nulls. So let me make a new private var uh, is channel created equals false. Then we'll come back down here and we'll just say if not is channel created. And then down here in create channel we'll say is channel created equals true. The emulator is up now and you notice that you don't see any notifications from our application. Let me go ahead and change the charger connection to AC charger and let's watch what happens. Well, you notice that our broadcast receiver gets the signal. So we go ahead and we walk through some things that we've already seen. And here it's figuring out what type of network connection we have. Finally, because it realizes the power is now connected, it goes to notify user. So notify user, is channel created false? So we're going to go in here and create our channel, light color, and then flip that Boolean to true. Now we come back and we set some properties on our notification. We build the notification. We get the notification manager. And finally, we notify. You might have heard a little jingle there from the notification. Let's go back and take a look at what we have. Swipe down and take a look. Watch your plants, your red bud is, is blooming. So what would be an ideal next step from this is to show a thumbnail of a red bud and then press and then see the bigger red bud from it. So do one of those big picture notifications. But nonetheless, you can now see that we do indeed have notifications. I choose manage notifications. We look at my plant diary. 
I click and notice we have the plant events category and notice I can check or uncheck that as I wish. So that is the notification channel that we created, the one called plant events. And we can see here some more behaviors that we can change there. Make a sound, show silently, show on pop-up screen. We'll go ahead and stay with show silently. Uh, show the notification dot. So the notification dot is a little uh, dot that can appear on our launcher icon. Override do not disturb. This is a handy one if you have uh, maybe some kind of a messenger system for your employer, some kind of page or something like that, and you want to have do not disturb, but you still want to be alerted if there's an event that happened, uh, like an on-call emergency or your boss called you or something like that. That's handy in that situation. You see down here a channel for plant events. So plant events, a channel for plant events. You can see that when we go down to creating the channel, plant events and a channel for plant events. So what's called a category to the user is essentially a channel for us. And then if we go up and we look at the individual notification, watch your plants and your, your red bud is blooming, remember that's what we saw when we swiped down and we saw the individual notification. So the nice thing here is we could show notifications for all different kinds of plants. And because we've associated them with this channel, the user can see all or see none. The user can make that decision. And then we can have other notifications that go into other channels as well. And the user can make choices on those other channels independently of this channel. So I hope this video has been helpful and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.